one of the very important aspects of University College of London from our perspective here at Yale is that um, in Europe they have the great av advantage of being able to have access to newer technologies, newer devices much sooner than we do here in the United States. So the relationship is actually very important for us here within the US. So when you have a heart attack, then the doctor puts a catheter into your coronary artery, it blows up a balloon, it's called angioplasty, uh, and unblocks the blockage that's causing the heart attack. He keeps the artery open by putting a metal scaffolding in it called a stent. The problem is that that stent irritates the wall of the artery and in some patients causes a second heart attack by its very presence. We're going to stop that happening. Interventional cardiology is really where we uh, treat coronary disease, structural heart disease, and it's very device uh, focused. And again, one of the great interests of this collaboration is to drive the device side and device evaluation. And I think we have an incredible opportunity with these two institutions. We're really at the forefront, really, of being able to do this. So we've got a fantastic idea that we should put a metal stent into the artery and the heart, which is biodegradable, which just dissolves away over a few months, and that we should make that stent magnetizable so that we can take stem cells from the patient's own bone marrow, attach a nanoparticle of iron to those stem cells, inject them into the blood, and the iron on the stem cell will be attracted to the magnetism in the stent and the heart. There, the stem cells will create a new lining to the arterial wall to make it a new artery again, and then the stent will dissolve. We can build a completely new biological artery without having any metal work in it. We're taking this from early concept to prototype development to animal testing to first in human and then hopefully to Europe where we can get it approved and on the market. So where the stage of development, and again, I mean, the, his biodegradable stent is going to follow the full course of what we are able to do between these two, two um, institutions, really take it from the early concept all the way to market, and that's the idea. So I think that's basically leveraging our, our strengths again on, on both sides. It is a, a wonderful project that might bring a new hope for people suffering from heart attack. The important thing in science is idea, idea that leads to experimentation. If you don't have novel ideas, you're just doing experimentation without knowing where to go. The Yale UCL Collaborative is producing a higher quality of creative ideas that will drive our future experimentation to a higher level that we would have achieved alone.